Hey, this is a video update of the 1997 Coachman 115SE truck camper that I bought several years ago now. The, the badging, it's a 97 115SE, and since I've had it, I had to replace the, uh, the hydraulic system that tore off the corners the first week I had it. And so I found this high lift system out of uh, Montana is where their company is located. And I repainted my 1997 Dodge Ram 2500 truck using bed liner because <laughs> the paint was falling off. And then I used the same bed liner paint to repaint the stripes. So uh, it worked out pretty good. And I added, I added backup cameras right and left, front and rear to the truck camper, which are powered by the accessory lighting and uh and a wireless system on the truck camper so pretty neat i think for a 97 it's all paid for <laughs> i didn't spend very much money for all of it to begin with the truck only has 180,000 miles on it there's the other camera up there and then where the uh hydraulic system tore out of the corners i had to reinforce it with these l brackets inside and out so it's on the inside and on the outside and then I just covered the torn holes with some diamond coat plating. And this is the high lift system, or excuse me, stable lift is the name of that system. There is their phone number, model number, and company name. Really great guys in Montana. Uh, and then I also, uh, to add fun to the whole system, I added solar panels to the exterior and I re coated the roof the roof was finally falling apart and I saw someone had used a material you can see the solar panel at least a little bit at this angle so I recoated it uh, with a material that I don't remember the name of right now um, it's a guy that does all those crazy commercials and he puts the screen door in the bottom of a, of a rowboat <laughs> I'll remember in a minute so we're coming inside original door and then we just I just added these stairs the old ones tore off and these are a scissor lift sort of a system works great and then uh, just repainted the interior walls it was wallpapered I painted it sort of a soft gray blue color my lovely wife helped me pick it out and so the table and we just redid the flooring we did uh, luxury vinyl uh, tile flooring the, the last person I bought it from had remodeled it and they put in peel and stick and that didn't look so great and then here's one of my solar panel controllers I don't know if you can read it or not but it tells me how much voltage is coming in uh, and then I retiled with peel and stick tile on this side which I thought turned out pretty good and then just painted that that gray just a couple days ago and then I added changed the lighting to more modern lighting underneath where I can dim the lights or turn them to a nightlight mode I changed those out and I upgraded the stereo system so now it actually has a DVD player with a stereo the air conditioner because we live in Colorado on all the years I've had this I've never used the air conditioner once I've always been in a remote area where the air conditioner you couldn't plug it in so I took it all out and put in a skylight with a dome thought that was kind of nice adds extra lighting and then if I the sunlight's too intense we can just close it so pretty neat pretty neat and then for the I have batteries underneath this section of the seating and then that solar panel charges those batteries and I have a battery in the auxiliary panel on the other side and this controller continues to charge the battery on that side pretty nifty huh add a little elk looking deer rack up there plastic bag holder <laughs> and then this was already in here when I bought it so extend your countertop when you need to and then in the ceiling which had gotten water damaged I replaced it with the uh, plastic tile squares it looks almost like tin ceiling I thought I was doing the tin color but I went with the white because I thought that would make it feel larger and even though the ceiling is a little bit misshapen it hides the damage really really well and it looks really great on this side I upgraded the faucet system and then I put in again more peel and stick tile 
in here to add a nice splash of color. I added this, ordered it on Amazon, a cover for the stove top. It did not originally have that, and this happened to match the almond tone perfectly, and I put this up here to hold it up. And not many RVs have ovens anymore. They use a convection oven. And this one has the original oven, which works great. Water pump works. I've got about 40 gallons of fresh water storage. Microwave still works. And then the refrigerator that was originally had come with this putzed out a few years ago. And I called Norcold and they replaced it uh, under recall. So I got a brand new $2,000 refrigerator that we just installed. It looks great, works great. Propane and regular electric current. Has an ice box as well. And uh, just reuse the the panel that was on the old refrigerator as we pulled it out. Now this one is about eight inches shorter than the original one. So then I added uh, a door and I put a little light up in here. And I use the same kind of lights that I used. And now I just turned this into storage. So, and it's also got the, the blue light, night light, if I want to use that for ambiance. There we go. Put a little, add sort of a manly touch to it, ties it together. And then a uh, the little step area here. And this is the bed. There's just two closets, one on this side, one on this side. And the bed area is big enough for a queen size. And then I added those same kind of lights up here. There's one on display in the light mode. That's in the night light mode. And it looks fantastic. And then I also added uh, cellular shades underneath the curtains so that it keeps it better insulated from heat and cold and, uh, and darkens it. So if you wanted to sleep in or you're in an area where there's lots of Bright lights outside, makes it nice and cozy, but wonderful place to sleep. I took it on a road trip to Montana a while back. And then that same material I redid the roof with, I figured I'd just paint the whole bathroom with that stuff. I put a new faucet in and just painted the whole bathroom. So far it's holding up great. And I put the same kind of light fixture in the bathroom area. Upgraded the fans to adjustable speed in or out fans, which I think are really effective. Same with the kitchen fan. So there you have it. My goal is for this thing to last longer than me <laughs> and take my dogs out and do a lot of hunting, fishing, camping, and time with my buddies, my band of brothers. Uh, we have a men's group, we call it the band, Bloodstained Allies Needing Direction. And we're a Christian group and we go into places most Christians won't go. The Zen Cigar Bar, we've been there, got to minister to people who otherwise would have never darkened the door of a church. And it's been really wonderful. So, pretty cool stuff, huh? Have a great day. 1997 Coachman 115 SE. SE stands for side entry. Very rare to find a truck camper with a side entry.